Hello there guys, welcome back. If you just watched the previous video, uh, I teleported back to Ward 13 and I spent pretty much everything I had on upgrading things I'm never going to use. Uh, so I upgraded some armour sets that I think are a bit pointless, some weapons that I'm not interested in using and stuff like that, just to spend my stuff really. I'm quite happy to uh, waste my scrap uh, because you get quite a lot of it and I'm not really using it. So I'm going to get everything up to max level as much as I can. So I did that. I did manage to buy some of those funky crystals and I got that gun with the undying mod up to level nine. Right, so that's where I am. So now we are going to go north through here. I still need to go back to the labyrinth and use my new labyrinth key, obviously. But uh, I'm, I think I'm going to try and do this entire zone. Normally there's like a big boss at the end of the zones. Uh, and then you get like funky new weapons and things off the big boss. Well, I've got to check if I've got any more trait points to spend on that new skill. That new trait, my regen. I don't think I have. I think I did them as I got them. I'll have a quick look. Oh, I have. I've got one. Right, let's pop it on then. So that's halfway. Lovely jubbly. <sighs> right, where are we? Have we done it before? The Guardian Shrine. Well, I think I might have done this before, and I think it was an absolute pain in the arse. Yeah, I have to put a thing in here. No, I've got it. Uh, I've got to get this thing. Yeah, I haven't got that. Um, but it's... This is actually... Um, I don't know whether this is worth doing or not, because what all of this gives you, I've already got. You get, uh, you go through all of this, and what you end up with is this ring. Uh, so this ring is for sale by a little trader, and you can buy it, but it costs you 200,000 scrap, I think. And you think, oh my god, that's really expensive, I'm not going to be able to afford that. And then you go through all of this area here, where I currently am, and uh, you come out, and the trader has been killed by somebody. And you can pick up the ring, but then you have to kill the person that killed the trader. So that's what happens if you go through here and do all of this. So I kind of think that that might be a bit of a waste of time. I mean, I, I have already sort of done it. But I don't know whether I need to do it on this to progress the story. I might have to. But anyway, I have to go to the trader first. I can't, I can't um, open the door without going to the trader. And it's on the back of their wagon. So you go up, you have a look at their wagon. It's on the back of there. So yeah, it's a little bit of a shame that I did all the adventure mode before I'd done those zones in the normal story mode because now it's kind of spoiled the story for me a little bit. And also, when you don't get anything special after you've killed a boss, like what just happened a bit ago, that's a bit rubbish. So, through here, we'll find that trader. There might actually be uh, just over the bit that we've already got open. Oh, I can't get through to that bit. I was thinking through there. Can I get through to that bit? Is there a way through? Okay, so that's not an option. Is there no way I can go around the outside? There's not, is there? Yes, there is. I can go this way. So there might be in this little alcove on the left. No, they're not. So they're going to be down in the south. I tend to think you might as well just pop these off quite quickly because uh, they regen quite fast. So you might as well use them. Let's have a look at the map and see where we're going. Right. Get another kill round. Ooh, we've got a boss. Ah, you're too fast. 
Let's just set these on fire first of all, get them out of the way. Go that way, do I? No, I definitely don't want to go that way. So I want to be going this way. Get some health off them because I've uh, got my health down a little bit here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use one of these. I have absolutely loads of them. Right, so no point in going up there really, is there? I can't imagine there'll be anything too exciting in that tiny area that I've not covered. So I will be going this way, and I hope that there is. Although that that trader could be in that area. They really could. Hey, we got a trade point. Go spend this then. Good, so we do have a zone down here which we can go into. That's nice. Yeah, on the on when I did the uh, the adventure mode, the trader was just out in the open, um, in kind of like the main area, and uh, very easy to find and very close to the place where you needed to use their key. for that little guardian shrine thing that we looked at where it spun around. Right, where are we now? The Forgotten Undercroft. Not sure if I've been in here or not. Ah, yes I have, definitely. Something's gonna appear right there. But you can't kill it, it runs away. It appears when you get close and then it runs away. In. And he takes that crossbow, you can't get it. And then uh, you sort of chase him and he keeps appearing in different places. It's a bit of a maze, this one. Everything's a bit jumbled up. And this leads back to the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing that I really don't like about this game is the way the map works. Sometimes it's you get so lost because the map only shows your level and you're not sure where you have and you haven't been. We've got a boss, but I'm not sure... Oh, is that dude there? Few blink dudes come in, these might kill me because they'll all all jump on me at once. And they do area of effect damage when they land. Oh, 
shot, wasn't it? Nice, nice amount of damage. Oh, well, that. I was going to say, yeah, right in, right in his uh, little chest, like the blue light, and it did bloody nothing. I think I hit the skull, floated in front of me. How much scraps have I got? I've just spent almost all my scrap. Well, 10,000. But I did run out of uh, the hardened iron, so I've got to make sure I'm picking that up whilst I was levelling things up. Grabbing these. These are the most expensive bits to buy as well, if you're able to buy them from the shop. Oh, don't do that! Right, there's there's holes that you could just fall down, so I don't want to be just. Uh, I definitely don't want to be um, just rolling around too much, whilst I just might roll down a bloody bottomless pit and die. But you you're on fire, just do it and burn to death. Going up for that hardened uh, iron. That's mine. Oh, I've got all this shit as well that I got out of the chest. I didn't realise that I just ran away from the chest directly after I'd opened it. Come on, where are you? I can hear you. Oh, the blink thief. Oh yeah, this is the dude that uh, takes the crossbow at the beginning. So now he's gone again, look, because it's not got an energy bar at the top for him. So this is a bit like um, one of the bosses on, on the, uh, the Earth section, like the really early bosses, where you see him every now and again, where you walk in there and it says, don't touch it, he sees. And then you see him every once in a while, you do a little bit of damage and he disappears. And then he's the actual boss at the end, uh, when you go through to the end zone. So that's the same situation going on here, isn't it? I'm obviously going to see him at the end. I mean, I have done this before, but I just can't remember. But that's what it's going to be. So he's going to be my final boss. I hurt him maybe three times, and then he appears at the end. Oh, shit. so good. It really is. And then after a little while of shooting someone with it, they become uh, staggered. So normally, if something's running towards you, you think, oh, it's not going to die in time. Uh, if you just keep on shooting, quite often, it, it'll kind of like knock it back. And then you've got to, uh, you will have enough to kill it before it actually gets to you. That happens a lot, which is really handy. Especially when you see it's going to explode, like them dudes. Come on! Uh, that's not the way, is it? That's back. So this is the way. Let's have a little scan around for anything blue or purple on the floor. Nope. Alright, so let's carry on towards... Yeah, see, I'm not going to pop going up those stairs. It's just a little bit of scrap up there. Oh, it feels so wrong walking past stuff you can pick up. It really does. But uh, no, I am progressing towards the um, 
the main objective. There is something blue, purple on the floor over there, so I've, I've probably already got it. I'm certainly going to be having a look at it when we get close. Him before we die. Oh, it's over. Yeah, if you if you fall down there, you're dead and you gotta do the entire Oh look at that, a trade point. Bloody really lovely. So yeah, you gotta be, be careful with how much you you're uh, you're dodging in this area because it's annoying as hell when you fall down and you gotta go all the way back to the bloody beginning. There's a lot of that in the desert as well. The desert has quite a few uh, Holes that you can fall down that you don't um, you just fall all the way to the bottom. All right, what are you then? Oh, I've got that already. That's annoying. I have no idea if I've got all of the rings. I might have. Oh shit. Yeah, you know what I've just done? I've just bloody reset all the enemy, haven't I, by touching this stone. And. What the fuck? Why is there two stones? That's not normal. Normally there's a stone just at one end where you come in and there's not one at the other end and this is a dead end. Oh, bloody sat up. I, I didn't mean to do that, I was just trying to pick up the stuff. Oh, let's pop a couple of these things. We're going to kill those two while we'll I have a look at the map. Oh, I'll go to that section I've not been to but I'm a bit confused here. This is not normal. I wish that trade point had a comeback. Just kept resetting and picking up the trade point over and over. Oh, there's another one anyway. Oops. Oops. Something, uh, something will happen down here then. I wanted to use a uh, nice bit of melee damage. It's over. I mean, that's it, isn't it? Ah, there he is. That's who we're looking for. Pop that. He's gone again now. Right. Failed. Stop the blinky. Bollocks. Oh no. I failed at something. That's that's annoying as hell. Well, I've got that blink um, mod, so I don't know whether when I did it in adventure mode I did get him. I can't remember.
So what I mean is sometimes you can just stand there shooting bullets and uh, they will um, it will knock them back. And you think, you think, oh, I've got to retreat. But if you just keep shooting, sometimes that's all right. <laughs> Man, this gun is brilliant, isn't it? That was rough. Well, I'll tell you what, I think that this zone is just about killing the blink thief and nothing else. I don't think there's any other point in being in here, really. And I, I don't know, but I think I might have done that already. So all I'm going to do is get out of here and go to the next zone. As I can find my way out. Is it? Can I go down there? Oh, it is down there. Yeah. Uh, just look like a drop. See, I didn't get him, but I think I might have got him before. Not 100% sure. So you gotta do some pretty hefty damage on him to kill him before he disappears. So I am going to teleport to the labyrinth, and I'm gonna use my key uh, to go on to the next section of the labyrinth. choice, have I? So, I'll go to Ward 13, so I can go wherever I like from there. I'm not just going to go outside. I'll have to find another crystal if I do that. But I'm going to grab my coffee while it's loading. You come here, Flippo. I thought you might. Forge Trail in the jungle, so maybe I have got to go back there and look around a little bit more in the jungle. Oh, who knows? Who knows? Right, so I could go to the labyrinth and do that way. I'm not sure then. Should we go back to the ruins and have a look at our other options? We obviously have not got to go into Earth, Rom, or Corsus. We've got to be in here. We might have to kill the Blink Thief to get the next uh, the next part of that. What shall I do? Go into the labyrinth? I'll go back here. I'll go back to the ruins. We'll have a look at the map, and we'll see if there's anywhere I didn't go. I think I did. I think I went to... Um, to every part of this, didn't I? But obviously we didn't kill the Blink Thief. But, by myself, I don't think I'm going to be able to do enough damage, because you damage him and then he disappears. He's only there for a fraction of time. So if I was in a group of four people, we could all just attack him and get his health down really quickly, whereas on my own, that's not really happening, is it? So who knows? We'll see. We'll see what, what there is on offer when we get in here. Right, we have... I'm going to go into that zone that's right in the middle, that's black, and see if the trade is in there that I, I mentioned. Because if the trade is in that section, that will, uh, that will enable me to go through that guardian gate. Is where I'm headed, so just down here. And I can't remember which one was the Guardian Gate. Oh, it doesn't like it's the uh, it's the trader's area anyway. The trader is not here. But this dude is. That didn't even hit him, did it? It wasn't on him at all, and he still gave it to me. That was on him, and it did bloody nothing. Yeah. Unless he's got an amazingly strong mask. So no, the trader's not here. There's nobody here. 
here and there that are still dark. I don't think the trailer's going to be in any of those. I'm going to go completely south and then in that uh, that zone that's dark. I, although I don't think he'd fit. Headshots on these dudes don't really do much damage. You got um, They've got helmets on that seem to be quite strong, so body shots seem to be better. Yeah, definitely not. I mean, he's not hidden. He's got like a big cart. I like how my schools just bugger off and do their own thing. Yeah, it's like you, you walk around and then you just find an area with a load of loot on the floor because they've just gone over there and killed everything. It's really quite useful. <laughs> I'll go to that other area that's uh, that's dark. I don't think it's big enough though. I really, really don't. I think I'm going around in circles here. Too small. It takes a big area. But we got some hardened iron, and I certainly need a little bit of that, so we'll grab this. around this way simply because I didn't last time. Getting quite quite a few critical hits, aren't we? Covered pretty much the uh, the entire thing, don't we? Let's have a look. I mean, there is that bit almost in the centre where it drops down, and that bit is actually quite near to the crystal. So I think I might pop back there, so north from here. I'm not going into this zone. It'd be completely pointless. I say it drops down. It might not. It might just be the entrance to one of those huts, which I've already done. I could be completely wasting my time here, but I'm going to go and have a look. as to whether I, have, I might have to kill the blink thief. I don't think I do, but I might have to. Okay, yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, it's nothing, look. This is it. That's it. Nothing at all. A bit of hard and, hard and dying. And that's it. And a, a dude floating in midair there. That's it. There we go. It's got, got him out of uh, his, his little levitation that he was doing. Right, so we are going back to this crystal because there doesn't seem to be anything in here to do. Apart from that blink thief who I failed to kill. We're going to go to the labyrinth. We're going to go through the next door of the labyrinth. Sorry about all that. Wasted a lot of time there. Half an hour doing absolutely nothing. Right, labyrinth. And we'll go to the next one. I don't know which one I did before. Although it was glowing, wasn't it? But I should have made a little bit of a note. I'm pretty sure I've done West. Uh, use the Undying King's Key. Didn't I do that already? I don't know which way I've gone. I'll go this way. That's glowing. I went this way before, didn't I? I, I went through that up there before. Definitely, because there was the statue here, the woman's bust. You know, I, I know I went that way. So, let's see if there is the option to go another way. I don't think there's going to be a... I'm going to go over it any, anyway. See if this key fits. No, there's, there's definitely nothing I can do there. Well, that's sort of glowing up there, isn't it? Ish. It's orange. Let's go and see if it uh, if it opens up. Ah, okay. So this is very probably the place where I'm before. I'm going to go and actually go through the one where I've got to use the key. I'm pretty sure that one there is the one that I went through originally because I didn't need a key. Uh, so obviously. I had no choice. So we're going back this way again. I want to go straight over there. That's where I want to go, to there. I don't want to go up to this one. Will it, will it open up if I go this way? We get a bridge appear this way? No. I want to go this way. We have another option. How do we, how do we get there? And it's actually the other side, look. You got the other side of it. Well, let's go back through here and see where we appear. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I appeared. It, it, that is how you get to it. So obviously this is the way I went before, isn't it? But we're gonna do it again. and see what happens this time. See if it takes us somewhere different. It might just be a case of this is a portal that takes you to various different places and you have to kill the boss from each one. Who knows? We'll see when we arrive. Otherwise, I'm just going to be going around in circles for a few of these videos, aren't I? Where's Filippo? Let's sleep on the sofa. Got some treasure. It's got a scrunchie. Okay, so obviously we've been in here. Here we are again. Bloody hell. Right, use the Undying King's key. Eslan said this key would make me where I must go. Well, I needed to take me to the Founder. The labyrinth's full of doors. If I could just find the right one. The labyrinth's full of doors? Well, it seems that this is the only one that I can go through. Let's get back in the labyrinth and try a different direction. I 
I need to pay a lot of attention to the, uh, the cardinal points as to which way I've gone. So, I'm in the north. Is there any other... Can I go along here? Right, so this is the north door from the main portal. And that's the one I don't want to go through. Because that leads to the jungle where I've been. Oh, I hate the map. It's shit. So I'll try going to the south. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've done that as well. I have, haven't I? I've definitely been to that one that's over there. I'll try this way then. I'm pretty sure this is where I came from originally. So we're now doing west. We've done north. North was the jungle uh, where we didn't manage to do anything. We are now going west and... Okay, so we do have an option in here. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting to have to put the key in. I think it's going to be that girl on the floor kneeling down that kisses my ass. <laughs> but we'll see. Is it? Should be. Yeah, it is. It is. Right, so. I really don't think it's in here, you know? Man, I'm gonna be really struggling with this if I keep going the wrong way. Have you got anything new to A say? Blessed reunion to you, glorious one. Howdy doody. He rules from the citadel. In the canyons beyond the Black Sun Gate. Well, where the fuck's that? The gate has been sealed since time forgotten. Oh, but no doubt you will find a way, dynamic one. Right then, cheers. Go well, enlightened one. Tatty boy. Did I do everything in here, or did I go in here and say, oh, I don't have the item to go through this zone, therefore now I now need to go somewhere else? That's so fucking frustrating because there could be one of these portals here that I've not been through because I didn't have the right item, and that item could be something that I've now got. So, I might, I don't know. I really don't know. I think I'm going to try and rush it. Right, I will try and rush. Shit in hell, I think I'm wasting so much time. Right, those stairs that are right the way over on the northeast. Maybe I've got to go to those. I did that, didn't I? That was where there was the... Uh... Oh, let me think, let me think. I think I've done this bit. I'm going to go back through here if it lets me. Yes, it will. Good. Right. So, north is the jungle. West is the desert. South, I know I've done it, but I can't remember what was there. And east, I'm not sure if east was even available. Come on then, let's see where else we can go. Can Before we do that, can we go off to the side anywhere that we haven't been before? Is a path going to open up? No. What would happen if I jumped onto that bit down there, do you think? Shall we try it? Where, where's the best way to look? Do you think I'd just die? Oh, lovely. Lovely, jubbly. Right, we found, we found something new. Right, it's been a year, a year since Evelyn took it into her head to, mm -hmm, who knows. Rom is a desolated housecape, but it shows a lot of promise. The people here fought the route and won. There is so much I can learn. Maybe even how to end the route for good. Maybe how to help her. This is my fourth trip here, I believe. The citadels are locked tight, guarded by the most terrifying beings I've ever seen in my travels. I've had to seek my information elsewhere. I don't know why I said information like that. Uh, from a people called themselves the Akari. Well, I've seen the Akari, I've got their armor. Uh, back home, Nadine is, what, 20 now, 21? Ugh. 
You finally remember how old they are and they go and change it again. In any case, she's becoming distant. She hasn't wanted to travel with me for months now. Yesterday, she asked why I kept searching. I told her the stakes, but she wants me home, wants me to protect the ward. She doesn't understand I'm protecting the ward. I've got to do this. I have to do it alone. The route would wipe us out if they had any notion of what I was doing. Uh, Yesha, I assume that's how you pronounce that, is peaceful here. Beautiful. Um, oh, sorry, it's peaceful here. Beautiful. At least when nothing's trying to kill me. If I weren't so damn dead, if it weren't so damn deadly, I could see myself settling down here someday. The pan have been far from welcoming. Um, I'm so shit at reading. The pan have been far more welcoming. Uh, than they were on my first visit, some, anyway. Apparently I've fallen in with the destitute and enslaved. There's a vast social rift between the Pan that has been for, and there has been for centuries, but a change is brewing. The Pan are talking of rebellion. Navum, in particular, has asked for my help. What can I do? Well, isn't that something? I don't much, um, I don't much about revolutions. What the fuck does that mean? I don't much about revolutions, but I don't know much. Uh, the pan know nothing. I think I think that's just a typing error. Uh, they have no experience in rebellion or emancipation at all. Uh, never in their history have pan turned against the immortals and their empress. But me, I'm American. Overthrowing oppressive um, something or another is what I do. Oligarchies, oligarchies. What are oligarchies? I have no idea. Right, I told them about our Revolutionary War, the Civil War, uh, even the Civil Rights Movement, basic stuff really, uh, but they hung on every word and wanted more. What happened after the Boston Tea Party? How did the Underground Railroad, uh, Railroad work? What is a protest? And every story I remembered, fire lit up their eyes. I barely remember the first sentence of Gettysburg Address. Yet, somehow, in this world, I've become a revolutionary firebrand. Now all I need are some weapons and training. I died. <laughs> Oops. Uh, this happened once before, back when the root first invaded, but I thought it was a fluke then. Uh, something related to the claw bone. But no, this is real. I died, and now I'm walking around again as if nothing happened. Watch out for those idri, by the way. The ones with red crystals instead of faces. Their beams can pierce solid rock. I won't make that mistake again. Could Evelyn have done this? It sounds crazy, but her sacrifice protected Ward 13 somehow. What if she died something to protect me as well? I could ask her, but no, no. I get no useful answers. Evelyn's gone. It's just the root now, and they only wish me harm. God, what if this is some kind of curse? What if they've taunted me with immortality? Doesn't matter, really. I can use it. The root doesn't know what I'm up to. If they did, they'd never let me have this power. But this power is precisely what I must be. Uh, this power is precisely why I must be the one to solve the puzzle. I alone can end the root. It's coffee time. Rom, September 2001. Holy smokes! It took forever to decipher what the Akari were trying to tell me, but I finally learned how they defeated the Root. The Undying King basically nuked their world. Uh, that explains the desolation. The mutants, uh, the mutants, but that can't be the only way to beat the Root, can it? No, not at all. They're really weak. You just shoot them and they die. I told Nadine about the Undying King's scorched earth solution. I shouldn't have. Now she thinks my quest is crazier than ever. She's worried I'll start thinking uh, nukes make more sense. Ridiculous. Where would I even get nukes? Jesus. Oh, we're in 2007 now. He doesn't update his diary very often. <laughs> Jesus, don't shoot those B.I. mutants in the head. Makes the bees and the mutants angry. Better to take out the body first. Hmm, interesting. Right, uh, 2011. I'm a grandfather. Uh, I still can't believe it. I have a granddaughter, Ellen Ford. I wish I could be joyous for this occasion, but Ellen's birth renewed my old argument with Nadine. She wants me back in the ward again. I get it. I really do get it. I'd like nothing more than to live with my daughter and granddaughter in peace. But how would it help to fight, <coughs> to fight a losing war on Earth? 
No, I've got to figure out how the roots. Uh, I've got to figure out the root secret to kill them at the source. <sighs> I admit I don't know how to do that yet, but I've learned so much these past years. The roots are high consciousness, for example. That's something, yeah. I mean, there there might be a central mind to destroy if I can find it. Don't matter. I can't sit around warfaring, guarding scavengers and hoarders. Uh, that won't help anyone. Nadine and her husband are great at leading them. It's an important job uh, pff, I'm no longer qualified for. This is what I must do. For God's sake, hurry up, I'm getting bored of reading this. March 2013. Uh, that Navam is one hell of a leader. Over the last 20 years, she's riled up a serious, a serious percentage of the, uh, of the commoner and slave populations. The nobility's taken notice. I helped, of course. I've been, I've been running guns and training soldiers about once a year on my trips here. I think I'm a wanted criminal now, but that's nothing new. These days, monsters are trying to kill me no matter where I go. Lately... This is 2024, we've moved into the future. Lately, I think I've been coming to Rom to escape. Can you imagine that? An irritated housecape is more friendly to me than my ward, my family. It's Ellen now. Uh, she, she was so sweet when she was little, but she's getting sulky. She's picked up Nadine's disappointment in me. Maybe I should stay in the ward more, get to know her a little better, but I'm so close. I feel it, there is a way to stop the route. Uh, one that doesn't require nuking the earth, and I will find it. If I don't, who will? 2025. I don't recognise this one. I'm trying to remember every dreamer project uh, Datla had. Uh, Yeshe, Rom, Gabriel and Kassa. Clementine's Freezer, that dark world Harsgard and Itsasu, uh, had a bet on. None of them looked like this. Either we never connected a dreamer to this world, or there were projects I was unaware of. So this is Corsus. Uh, either way, it's uh, a risk going in here. Maybe that's why I've put it off for so long, but I wouldn't have options. It's a risk I have to take. 2025, September, Corsus. The natives seem low on both education and technology, but there's something else going on here. I found evidence of infrastructure, villages, agriculture. They used to have progress, but all of it's been abandoned now. What happened? 2026, still in Corsus. I don't know. Sometimes I think there's something sinister about this world. Maybe the root or some similar species took over somehow. And other times, I think it's just a dream swamp where I'm wasting my time. I should be looking for the keepers I heard about. Uh, or maybe I'm missing Nadine and Ellen. How long has it been now? Two years? I've never been away one. Uh, I've never been away at one time for so long. I should go back soon. I've I've just gotten um, right. If white writing on is is on a black background, I really struggle to read it. It's a dyslexic thing, and I really, really am struggling to get through this. So white on black is my least favourite combination. Uh, it's so annoying. Right. Uh, I just got to follow a couple of more leads in the swamp. Maybe try to learn more about the keeper. Then I'll head back. How? I'll stay at the ward for a few weeks, this time to make up for it. Jesus, hurry up and fucking end! August 2026. Finally, I found someone in this damn swamp who'll talk to me like a person. Unfortunately, all she does is espouse the virtues of her world. She doesn't. She says, welcome back. You want to buy anything? And that's it. I know better than most what a bucket of horse manure is, uh, uh, all that is. She calls herself a queen as she talks about the oneness and enlightenment, but this won't tell me uh, a dream, this won't tell me a dream thing about what Iskal is, let alone any kind of history of her people. The past is gone, she always says. All that matters is the Iskal. I think my earlier suspicions were right. Something's fishy here. Five months. Five months investigating and talking to that, damn, to that damn queen, and I might as well have been slamming my head against a brick wall. All the good is uh, for all the good it's doing. Uh, she won't talk about anything but is Carl, is Carl, and is Carl. I have no interest in her cult, not even to get more information. I've seen less sinister propaganda in Moscow. Uh, I'm getting nowhere. It's been almost three years now since uh, since I've been back to the ward. The swamps are bust. I'm finding the keeper uh, can wait. I need to go home. Nadid's gonna give me hell. 
but at this point, it's Hal I'll, uh, I'll gladly take. I'll stay a good month in the ward this time, whatever they might think of me, it'll be good to see my daughter and granddaughter again. November 2029 in Yesha. <laughs> I guess this is it. Done with Earth, done with the root, and with the mother. Done with all of it. I'll leave this here in case anyone wonders uh, what's happened to me. I'm off to find Navam and do what good I can with what I've got left. I can think of worse ways to live out my days. Jesus Christ, that was a lot longer than I wanted it to be. So yeah, I do apologise, but I am incredibly shit at reading whenever it's black and white. Black on white or white on black is a bloody nightmare for me. Right, so we can... Oh, bollocks, this leads back up to where we jumped down from, doesn't it? Did we jump down from there? I think we did. So this goes back to the beginning. Oh, that's really annoying. I thought we'd found a new route. Right, so let's just go back this way a little bit, if we can. Yeah, we can. And see if it builds anything in this direction. Oh, I thought it had then when I saw that appear. Flipping hell, so which way are we going to go? So annoying. Right, guys, I'm going to shut this one down here and then choose the south route. But I've got to grab some more coffee and pop to the loo. So I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.